Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use WinAVR Video Converter to convert files between different media formats. Okay, so now in this current scenario, we're going to change your XVID file and convert it into a DVD file format. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select here convert your media file AVR to DVD AVR is also another name for XVID once you select on that button there when AVR opens up the browse box and it wants you to browse to the folder that has the file you want to convert in this case I have the file located on my desktop in a specific folder this is the file here you highlight it then you select on open okay so now you're inside of the conversion window and up here it actually has the file that's going to be converted you can actually convert more than one file at a time to save you from going through all that time to do each file individually so that's definitely one of the good features of an AVI video converter then you see here is actually what you want the output format to be we're going to select DVD you see you can convert it to video CDS, video CD, MPEG, and so forth. So then we're going to go through the advanced button here to see the different ways we can tweak when the AVI video converter. Okay. So once you're inside of this window, you see the different things that DVD encoder, which is up here. We're going to encode by quality, higher quality. The capacity of DVD is going to be 4.7. Probably best to select 4.3. In this tutorial, we'll just keep it to 4.7. Enable DVD chapter. If you want one AVI video converter to create chapters in your movie, this definitely helps out with as far as video authoring goes. And then you can enable DVD menus also we have that selected and everything over here we're gonna leave at default the aspect ratio we're gonna keep it at NTSC because we're in North America and a closed GOP the only other thing I wanted to mention was the enable direct AC3 option here now some people choose to unselect this but I go by the model that if it ain't broke why well, try to fix it and unless I'm experiencing difficulties with converting the video then I will always leave this selected okay so once you have all your options selected you can go through the different menus up here we'll leave all of those at default once you have all those selected, you select on OK. OK, so once you select on OK, it brings you back to this main conversion window here. Now, I also forgot to mention here what you have is the output directory. So once you select on Browse here, you can then navigate to where you want your DVD to be sent to. I'm going to leave this at default. You can allow this video to be recorded wherever you please, as long as you just remember where it's at. So once you have all that established, you just select on OK. OK, now of course you have different options here. You could preview the movie. Always select the preview movie option unselected. And the conversion will go a lot faster. Then you have shut down the computer after your work is done block all message boxes while converting probably error messages if you frequently see a error message and you know it's not going to be a problem with your output of your movie or your video you could select that also but I'll leave all this unselected and when AVI goes through the process now okay so once when AVI finish the conversion process it goes right back to his main window. When AVI have other features that we will have future tutorials on, so look out for them also. 
Also, you can go to infixitonline.com and check out the other great tutorials we have. Thanks for viewing this tutorial. I hope it was informative for you. Until the next time, peace.